It's Spooktober. It's time to talk about something spooky. Now, Goosebumps is a show from the 80s, 90s, 2000s. It's all the same. Now, Goosebumps is basically like the Twilight Zone, but you made it for kids. Also, I am a very nostalgic lover of Goosebumps. I watch the show. I read books. I think and books. I also watch the movie. Netflix is an asshole for only including the second one and not the first. Anyways, back to back to the main matter of the subject. I right. Now, there's the reoccurring characters such as Slappy, which is of course a group's favorite. Now they have episodes about a killer sponge, a beach. I don't remember the rest of it. Now, the, the most memorable one is the one with the Halloween special. You know when a show, which is scary all year, does a Halloween special, it's gonna be good. And that's why this is one of Goosebumps' best episodes. Now, this little girl doesn't want her feathery duck costume, so she goes to the most sketchiest store in existence. She also realizes that the mask won't come off, as she bought the creepiest, scariest mask in the whole entire store. No, I think this is one of the best ones, because it isn't a campy monster. No, it's herself. She's the monster. Her body is the monster. Goosebumps is also known for very, very shaky cameras every time the monster appears. Like, I feel like I took LSD every time, like, I, I think there's like a Swamp Monster episode. Where the Swamp Monster comes up, and then the camera has an aneurysm. Anyways, overall, I love Goosebumps, and the Goosebumps is a show that'll always be in my spoopy heart. Spooptober, time to talk about something spoopy. Now, today we're going to be talking about the nostalgic show called Netflix. What the f- Hey guys, I'm going to be doing an outro. Shout out to some of my Discord people, which is Mac, my editor, Dio, which is our leader, Pierogi Chan, Medi King, Slime Boy, which has been dead for about 32 years. And, you know, the works. It's have, have a happy Spooptober. See ya next year.